Sage Wanderer coming at you from my van down by the river. And today I would like to talk about QAnon. I don't talk about him much, but we will be talking about him briefly today. But before I get started, I would like to address something that, I don't know, has been going around that the van down by the river is some kind of code or some kind of deeper spiritual meaning. No, literally, this is my van down by the river. My 1978 camper van, which I hope to restore someday. My mini dilapidated tour bus. And I've never showed you around much, but just to show you that I'm not in a TV studio or something. This is my camper van. This is where I sleep. This is the TV that I have to take down every time I drive it. That up there behind the TV is the driver's compartment. And it's a mess right now. I'd show you more. But I need to clean my house. <laughs> so the van down by the river is just what it seems. It's a van down by the river. And um, I did get some cool new lights. Maybe I can bend up and show you. Oh, check them out. This is why I might look a little better over the last month or two. Because I bought these LED rope lights that go all the way around the roof. I think that's kind of cool to show my rope lights. I don't know. Anyway. I don't, are you seasick yet from me moving the camera around? <laughs> All right, back into the mic stand. It's not even a tripod. It's just a mic stand. Let's put this in. Um, so anyway, let's talk about QAnon. Um, QAnon, I have been saying since the switch from 4chan to 8chan that I thought QAnon was disinformation. Um, that I'm one of the only people through all of this that has said all along that I thought QAnon was a was a brilliant deep state, um, a brilliant deep state plot, and its main purpose, its sole purpose, really, is to give you hope that the government's taking care of it. Oh, don't worry about it. The good guys have it all under control. There's no reason for you to buy extra ammo. There's no reason for you to put up food all winter long. There's no reason for you to make sure your gear's in order. A civil war's not coming. Oh, they're not coming for your guns. We've got it all under control. They're on the run now. We're gonna get them all, get them all, get them all. And they feed you some little nuggets to make you feel better. And the sole purpose was was to get you to waste your entire winter when you should have been preparing. That's my opinion. I've been preparing all winter. I've been putting away more stores of food and medicine, bandages, and uh, I am not deterred, nor did I get lazy or sit down and sit and wait because Q said so. I'm sorry, I got a problem with the guy that don't even have the guts to show his face. You know, at least... I'm showing my face. At least you know I'm a real human being. I'm not passing my, you know, passing my uh, channel off to some other guy, you know, because I'm on vacation. No, it's me. If I go on vacation, I take the phone with me and then you get to go on vacation with me. So, for those of you that are starting to finally doubt whether QAnon was, you know, you're finally coming to it, you're starting to doubt it because of his attack on Alex Jones. And I will say this, if we are all on the same side and Q is half as smart as he claims to be, if he's got half the clearance he claims to have, then he ought to have the good sense to know that you don't turn on one another, that we have to have a completely unified front and Alex Jones good or bad whether you like him or not he's the guy out there talking about chemtrails he's the guy out there talking about you know um, child trafficking he's the guy out there talking about uh, um, vaccines he's the guy out there talking about the new world order he's hipping you to all of this stuff going on uh, in the globe that um, we probably would never even hear about if it wasn't for Alex Jones and he's been doing this most of my adult life that he and I aren't too far apart I'm older than him but uh, you know I watched him come up I first discovered him clear back in the Bill Cooper days and um, William Cooper is how I, I think I he ran the same circles as Mark from Michigan and those people on shortwave and then AM radio and then when you first started getting audio streaming I started watching him on um, audio streaming and although I'm not convinced that Alex Jones isn't acting a little bit but having done this for a little while I'm I can tell you sometimes you have to act a little bit because by the time you get to the fifth take you've lost your passion or by the time you've been doing this probably for what how long has he been doing this 30 years you know I suppose you have to 
get it worked up a little bit to get as excited as you did last week. Um, and I, I'm not defending Jones. I'm not saying that... I'm sorry, i got to have some coffee. I'm not saying... Uh, that I'm a 100% believer in Alex Jones. I'll just say this. I never believed in Q. Not since he made the move to 8chan. He stopped ask, asking questions. He started making statements. His personality sounds different from one post to the next. And I'll tell you another thing. The very first thing, the very first thing he told us, clear back, last, last whenever it was he started, back in the fall, I think, the very first thing he told us was that uh, uh, Mueller was on our side that Mueller had been flipped, that he was a Marine first and a Democrat second, and that he was going to really go after Hillary Clinton and all of her people, and he's really going after Pedigate, and this whole thing that he's investigating Trump is just a smokescreen. Deny that he told us that all those money months ago. And not, that has not held out to be true in any way, shape, or form. Mueller is after Trump. He's after him with a passion. This guy's got no limits. He's got no... I mean, the guy's off the chain, off the hook. He's like a mad dog on the loose, and he needs to be stopped. He is not on our side. You're a fool if you think he's on our side. And you're a fool if you follow Q, if you ask me, because he claimed that. He stuck to that for a long time. I haven't heard him talk about that. Oh, I, actually, I quit listening. You should quit listening, too. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. If you want what's really going on, you need to pay attention to the people who are really doing the hard work and stop listening to an anonymous voice in the middle of the wilderness who may or may not even be on our side. You may be listening to Tokyo Rose. You think just because he sounds like us, he's one of us. I doubt that he is. Because one thing all patriots have in common is sooner or later we come out into the daylight because ultimately we know we're right and we don't have to hide. God save our republic.